in the lower ribbon of your virtual image, not inside the window that you currently have open for the sequence of the acquisition portion of the software, but instead in the very lower ribbon, immediately to the left of the CP icon, there is the yellow Windows File Explorer. Yellow Windows File Explorer. I want you to click on that yellow Windows File Explorer for me, please. A single mouse click. I then want you to take that Windows File Explorer window and drag it just a little bit below where the sequence table is in the window behind it. Then select Local Disk C in that Windows File Explorer window. Local Disk C. Double click on Temp on the right hand window. And you should see the very, very first file just after the icons for the uh, file folders that are there for backup, CC files, etc. The very first file is entitled Demo Sequence Worklist for ChemStation, should be ChemStation 2, not CSV. Do not double click on this. This is a specific example for those of you that might, let's say, have a limb system. Or let's say that if I don't have a limb system, I get a list of injections that I need to run today. I come in in the morning, I open up my Outlook, some, my boss has sent me a list of 35 different injections I need to run today. Well, that list exists as an electronic list sitting in my Outlook. I'm going to take that list, I'm going to copy it, I'm going to put it into an Excel spreadsheet, and I'm going to save it as a CSV, not as a native Excel file. The reason I don't use the native Excel file is because Microsoft keeps changing the way they save native Excel. They started saving it as a, as a .xl file, they went to a .xls file, now they're a .xlxs file, and all of those have different parameters and are different formats. So instead, we tied ourselves to the CSV portion or version of file format. So you save that list as a CSV. I want you to single mouse click on that demo sequence work list for ChemStation Import 2. And then with it clicked, drag it to the sequence untitled window immediately behind it and release it. And it will immediately populate with the entire list from that CSV. Well, what exactly did you have to do to create that CSV? All you need to do, and I have customers that have a one column CSV, I have other customers that have a hundred column CSV. As long as the name of the column of that CSV is the same name as the column within the sequence table, it will map to the appropriate column. It does not have to be in any specific order. It can be outside of any order you wish. But as long as that column itself has the name as it appears in the sequence table, it's going to map to the right column. 